going? I'm going to the skate park. Uh, today I thought I'd bring what we have, we pogoers have have to offer to the skaters. I always try to be very careful of cars. Um, since I've been pogoing, I've been hit. I've been hit seven times. Um, it was only two accidents. One car hit me five times. Skate park. I don't really have any friends here. <laughs> they, um, a lot of people don't really like pogos, pogers. Um, but it's all right. We're gonna do fine. I don't care. But if I get in a, if I get, if I get in a, if I get in a, uh, what Charles? If I, char uh, if what? Just, just go in there and pogo. Have my back. The first time I ever pogo stick was when I was two, and my uncle gave that to me. And I went out in the front yard, and I started pogo sticking, and my life changed. I just remember getting on that pogo stick and starting to jump, and it was just like everything shifted. Like I knew right away this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's like I remember. I saw a documentary when I was little about kangaroos, and I was like, I'm probably, like, I'm like a kangaroo now. Like, I can jump like they do, and I can bounce, and I can move, and I travel a different way than, like, other people because of my pogo sticking. Like, why walk when you can fly? Like, why skateboard when I can pogo stick? Not very many people can pogo stick, so, like, me pogo sticking just shows that I'm pretty much a su superior athlete compared to everyone else. Pogor die. Dude, I'm trying to show people that pogoing is awesome. Yeah, so right now I'm pretty much looking to build my own brand and uh, just get people to know about what I do and what I have to bring to the table. Um, I want to compete in the next X Games for sure. I think I've shown pogoing to these people and hopefully they'll start doing it. Because you can have just as much fun on these, on these bad boys than any of those, what do you call them, you know? Folks for life. This is sprung. I'm out. Eleven months ago, I left home, and I never looked back. And now I'm here in the great state of California. I pogo every day. I get to live my own life. I'm about to turn 18. Uh, my birthday's in three weeks. My dad and my mom, we caught a lot of fight because I would never stop pogo sticking. And we just didn't see eye to eye. And I don't think I was probably the best kid. But at the same time, it's like, I want a pogo stick at night in my room. Like, what's wrong with that? You know, like, that's my dream. And so my dad would like get really mad and we'd fight. And you know, because I, I didn't play football or basketball or tennis or cricket or all these other sports that people play. One time um, when me and my dad were fighting, he took my pogo stick and he went outside and he threw it out in the street and was like, You're not pogoing anymore. Get out of here. He's just always like, you're a fool, you're a fool! Uh, I just, 
I like to pogo and I don't know how to stop it. So I'm gonna go with it and I don't care what my mom or my dad's my dad said. Do you have any fond memories of, of your dad? Yeah. When I was coming out of my driveway on my pogo stick and then my dad came in and ran me over with his car. And then he got out and he looked at me and he's like, Oh I'm sorry. I don't know. That just meant a lot. Do you remember your mom? Oh yeah, my mom, she's great. We still talk every once in a while. I'll give her a call or something just to let her know how I'm doing. I think she misses me because I decided to move out. They both still live in Arizona. Um, Tucson, actually, in the city. <laughs> Tucson boy, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess I just wish, like, my parents would have supported me more in my pogoing life. But anyways, that's why I ended up leaving. As soon as I turned 17, I said, I'm not waiting another year. But for my birthday, I'll probably, you know, get a new pogo stick. I like this one. This one's pretty new, like I said. But the one I want to get is, um, I'll probably get one that has, like, a little extra spring right here. So then that'll give an extra bounce to the spring that's inside of here. And this spring that comes up right here will then be like right here. And then when I'm bouncing, the spring will bounce me a little bit more. Um, but it's a lot more expensive to get that third spring, which most people don't know. Um, but I've been saving up for it and working really hard. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Duck poop. Duck poop. I guess I regret not not taking the leap of faith sooner to move out to here to Cal to move out here to California. I uh, I should have done it sooner. I should have done it when I was twelve. You know, I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with how I live. Like, I love it. A lot of people say it's, you know, stupid or dumb or, like, just the stupidest, idiotic, foolish thing I've ever done. But it's like, I'm 17, going to turn 18 in three weeks. So I don't understand, like, you know, it's like, that's my choice. It's my way to live, and I enjoy it. I live with my freaking girlfriend. Like, who can ask for anything better, you know? Married people can, but I'm just saying, like that, uh, like, you know. Um, I live here with a few other roommates. Um, all this right here is what I get, uh, and I mean, like right here, this is this is my nook. Um, so like, if I'm out like a little too far, like, get back in your nook. <laughs> I'll run back over here, you know. So I just, you know, I do some chores like cleaning and um, like doing dishes and stuff like that uh, for them, and they let me they let me sleep here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I I'm happy with it. No, this is a this is a documentary. It's oh. probably gonna end up on Netflix or something. Yeah, it's gonna end up on Netflix because Net people are gonna want to see my pogo sticking. Netflix. No, she's really cool. Like we've known each other for like since I've been in California, and we're so tight. Like she's like, oh, you're gonna go pogoing today? I'm like, yeah, I am. Um... No, I literally went up to him because I saw him pogo sticking outside of a Ralph's, and I said, "What the f is that? And what are you doing?" And she was like, how much do you pogo? I was like, oh, every day. 
and then like I'll take I'll just take her out and try to teach her how to pogo sometimes but she probably needs a few more years before she can get it, get it down like I can do I do I look like I go outside and bounce around I have to pay rent I have bills to pay who has time for this yeah I think that's what I how I got her as my girlfriend is I impressed her with my pogoing skills no look he said that he was homeless and that he needed a place to stay and that worked out great because I don't like to do much of anything. And so we let him sleep behind our couch and do all of our shit for us. So that you guys as a relationship? Define relationship. Like a hamster and owner relationship? Like that kind of relationship? Like I always have to clean up after him relationship? Hey, guess what? I'll do it tomorrow. Get it? Get it? Caitlin. Caitlin. She loves my hair. I'm, you know, getting to live here and I'm doing the chores and so I don't really like it's not that it's not that bad. Like I don't mind at all. I get to live right and sleep here. I'm in California and like they just took me in out of the kindness of their hearts. And well, I have to do the dishes and everything else in this house, but that's all right. What's your favorite chore to do? Um, I guess I like doing the dishes because it's a chance for me to kind of shower and bathe. Because uh, I usually don't really get to use the shower, so when I do the dishes, I just kind of wipe down real quick with like the water, the soapy dishwater, and that's a good way to like clean up. Oh uh, what? What the? F Charlie, could you do the f dishes, man? Jesus Christ! F you said you did the dishes. I must have missed one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start a pogo company called Sprung. And I think like I'll be the model for the company. I'll be like, or you know, like action shot, like. And I just, I just really wanna make something of myself. Um, when my parents kicked me out, they were like, you're not, you're never going to make anything of yourself. You know, I think love, love is the only thing that can cure those things. Love, you know, is the answer. And I'm just thinking this off the top of my head. Like, this is how my mind is working. I'm constantly just being, like, positive and I'm inspiring people and people are going, Gosh, like, you're an incredible pogo sticker. Like, wow. And I'm just like, that's what I do. And I tell them stuff and they love it, you know? Uh, if you want a pogo stick, just, just do it. I just thought of that. That's gonna be my brand, just do it. Catchphrase. No one, how has no one ever thought of that? Yeah. Uh, you have to first know what it's like to live before you pogo. Because once you start pogoing, your life, it will change so drastically that you won't even know where home is because home is up six inches off the ground. Nailed it.